And that's how I first got on BET was um, when I was in the military, I, I wanted to do stand-up, and I tried to get in, get on stage in the mainstream rooms down in San Diego, and I could only get up once a week if I was lucky. And a couple black guys I was stationed with started telling me about these quote-unquote hood spots, the black spots. I could get up three, four times a week. And I was like, I'm going to go. I just want to get on stage. I don't care who's in the audience. So I started going to all the black spots in San Diego to perform. And that's where BET got wind of me because a couple of the producers came down for a show. And there was a contest. It was the funniest black comedian San Diego contest. <laughs> and it was... <laughs> It was a radio calling contest, though. So I called in, and I didn't say I was black or I wasn't black. I just called in and said I want to enter. So I ended up winning the whole thing. <laughs> and then one of the producers from Comic View was there, and he saw me, and he said, you should come up and uh, showcase for Comic View and see if you can get on the show. And that's how I got on. So you, when I oh, first started, it was, it was the black comedy spots I could get on stage. Do you think that uh, those spots being the first spots that you started performing and where you could perform sort of changed or shaped who you are uh, as a comic and how you perform? Yeah, well, it opened my eyes because, you know, I think a lot of white comics or mainstream comics, they're, they're going off Def Jam or Showtime at the Apollo. And when you watch those shows, like, you got, you got to feel that black audiences can be intimidating because people are getting booed. I don't think you've ever seen comics get booed on TV before. And when I started doing the, the black rooms, I found it wasn't like that. It's just, people just come to laugh. If you're funny, you're funny. And that is the difference, though, because black people let you know real quick if you're not funny. You know what I mean? Like, white people work with you a little bit, <laughs> or they'll blame the person that brought them. Why'd you bring me? This guy's awful. They still won't blame you, the comic. They'll take their time before they make their work. Right. Yeah. Black audiences, you ain't funny. Uh-uh. <laughs> you, got, you got about 30-second, two-joke time limit. <laughs> 